Welcome to the Dutch Grand Prix weekend. Mixed weather conditions at the seaside here at Zanvoort. In the Grand Prix we will start dry and then it'll get wet and then it'll probably dry up again. So a lot of entertainment to come probably for you and heartache and misery for me one would imagine. At Zanvoort our history here is okay. Not that strong though I don't believe. In the Netherlands uh, First season in the house, we came 10th. Last season in the Ferrari, I came 9th. So we'd like to improve on that. We would have loved the victory at Spa. It wasn't to be, unfortunately. Desperate to try and get myself up into second in the championship, though. But as you can see, Fernando Alonso and in particular Max Verstappen have both been in very good form of late. So we're going to try and improve on that in the next round if we can and get ourselves slightly higher in the standings. Just to say thank you to Tomo for gifting us up to the channel. Do drop the video a like if you're enjoying this third season of the driver career. We will be ending the safe probably at the end of this season, starting the new My Team, but we'll play it by ear. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of this save, of course. Plenty of content still to come to you. The player career mode 2, including yesterday's... Oh, I say yesterday's. Uh, I think actually this is going to go out uh, on Monday. So last week, the vote for where we go in season four in the player career. That's live right now. So go and have your vote on that. Regardless of what's happening football wise, this is Formula One. So let's go to practice. And then from there, we can hopefully figure out a strategy and a setup to do very well in the race. Much better than ninth or tenth, anyway. Car feels all right in practice. Not necessarily that quick comparatively to everyone else, but I feel very comfortable in the car, which is half the battle. So, provided we can utilise strategy to our advantage and not lose DRS on a group in front, we should be in for, hopefully, a decent weekend here. I'm going to put some uh, fresher bits in the car as well to ensure that we're as fast as we possibly can be. And then, fingers crossed, we can qualify well. My qualifying practice programme said that I would qualify last, but I think that's probably a little bit over the top, to be completely honest. I don't think we stand any chance of qualifying last. Uh, we should be able to get ourselves through to Q3. I'm just, I'm a little bit worried about the rain, if I'm honest, but <sighs> tire temperatures, it's the tire temps that worry me in the rain. But fingers crossed we'll be okay. Just I have struggled with tire temperatures here at uh, Zandvoort before, so it is a bit of a concern. I'm just gonna take one tick of front wing out but then I'm pretty sure we're going to be good to get through. We did a 108 something in practice, in the uh, practice quality program. And everyone else is doing 108s at the very thick end. So we should be comfortably through. So with a 108.4, I should be able to do a 108 something. A mid 108, 5 or a 6. So we should be through qualifying into, well, through Q1, sorry, into Q2. So we'll, we'll try and save some tyres if we can, because obviously with the rain doing what it's doing in the race itself, we might benefit from having an extra set of soft tyres available. And we'll actually just make sure that I've taken uh, all the fuel out, because that will have taken some time out of the lap. But apart from the conditions, okay, we'll drive out and hopefully we should be okay. Gonna be close. I'm out. I am out. I am last. What? Um. Well, that's not part of the plan. I did a 108. A 1086 in quali. Uh, sorry, in the quali practice program. I've done a 109 flat there. I'm only not. Only, only nine tenths of first, but, um, well, that's not necessarily gone according to plan, has it? That's a really close field. Right, strategy is going to have to work in our favour because, um, I feel quick in the car, but the car is not quick, apparently. Oh, dear. How the fuck's that happened? Here's well, we'll see what everyone else did in qualifying. Teammate on first, 107.8, which isn't a massive step on from where they were in Q1, to be fair. We have 
Alonso with the 108 flats, Stroll. same as Lando. Lance 108-1. Verstappen. I'd be intrigued Russell. if we do do another Hamilton. season in this Sainz. save. Perez. What teams would be interested in me at the Ricardo. end of the Bennett. end of the year? Gasly, Joe. Hockenberg. I can't believe I Albon. I can't believe I bottled the qualifying Albon. quite so hard. I start 19th because Sunoda's taken a penalty, but That's, that is not good. Lots of soft starters as well. Lots of soft starters. Only Stroll, Piastri and Verstappen on the medium. This is not going to be an easy race from this hmm. position, but just give it your best shot. It, well, it, it's got two stops and one stops in there. With the, ra with the rain coming, I'd be sorely tempted to start on the mediums, but... It's not saying that the mediums will go much, much further than the, than the softs, to be honest. In terms of... The length, so I might as well just start on the softs and do what everyone else does. If lots of other people are on softs, then I might as well... I might as well start on softs and then just undercut and try and get ahead of some people rather than overcutting. That's ba oh, I'm perplexed as to why we were so slow lap time wise because I didn't feel that slow. I wonder if that happened at Zandvoort the past couple of years as well. I don't recall it happening, but it may well have done. It's going to dry, it's going to get wetter, but then it's going to dry up again. And if that rain actually comes, say, halfway through the race rather than towards the end, then we're going to need the extra. Well, we've got loads of soft tyres now, haven't we? So I don't think we need to worry about tyres in terms of the amount of softs we're going to have. Fuel wise, oh, am I really going to need nine laps worth of extra fuel? Maybe. God. Dear me. Um, bugger. I think it's probably the word to be as polite as possible. You can imagine what sort of four letter words going through my head at the idea of starting 19th at Zandvoort with rain on the way. <sighs> Wish me luck, because I think I'm going to need it here. Well, the parking's decent. Parking was very decent. Whether anything else goes to plan or not. We shall find out. What a start by Yuki. I'm last. I'm not even going to try and hang it around the outside. There's no point. It's just going to end in damage for me. Okay. Yuki flew off the line then. Try and get around the outside of a couple here, maybe. Oof. And they just rather unceremoniously bumped me off track again. Right, lads, chill. I might try and throw it down the inside. Oh, if I'd not been caught out there, I might try to throw it down the inside here. It's such a twisty circuit. It is hard to find overtaking opportunities outside of the first corner. There is maybe the chance here. As everyone slows up for this tight right and then the left, I'll leave racing room. We're through. The DRS is going to be active this lap. Going to need a lot of battery. I've got my recuperation set to 100% and I'm going to need it, I think. This lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. My plan is to try and make as many moves as possible before the pits. Don't know whether some are on one stoppers or two stoppers. It's not one stoppers, two stoppers or three stoppers. But ultimately, these guys back here, I don't want to feel like I'm racing, so I'm not that bothered about what what strategy they're on. Watch out for understeer in the wake of the car ahead. It's those further up that I'm worried about. Push, push. Strategically. I'm very surprised to see. Most on softs and only the three or four on the medium tyre. That was a surprise. I might try the same move on Sonoda that I did on uh, Porsche here because they all will put Constantina up. A little bit rude as I bumped across the curb, but I left him Brilliant. just about nice a car's width.
111.2 up top is what they're running. Tire temps were okay, did a 111.9. Couple of positions made so far. Plenty more to come, I hope. Big DRS train at the moment. Try and make the same move again. And completely balls it up. It did not go well. Just a bit further back than I thought it was. It's fine. Might actually have inadvertently made Alex Albon a little bit more vulnerable now. Try and go around the outside of him at turn one. We took a knock to the front wing, but it's not enough to affect the way the car drives, I don't think, thankfully. It wasn't. It was just too ambitious. Trying to replicate other moves that we'd made. But the concertina effect isn't quite so strong here at the moment, at this stage. So I couldn't just fly up the inside the way that I had previously. Trying a little bit too hard. Overdriving is the phrase. Still within DRS range of those in front. So we'll get after them. Try and make some more moves, but do them a bit cleaner <laughs> than we did the one on Albon. I'd be intrigued to see how many are three stopping. using that extra set of softs. I imagine it's probably, if anyone is three subbing, it's gonna be someone at the back here. Because those further up, too busy talking. If you think you can get past, those further up won't have the extra set of softs available to, uh, to do a three stop. So most will be two stopping. Would love to know when that rain is probably going to come. As the teams will have the radar. Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected. Drives definitely seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. It's slow around turn one for sure. So if if the rain still isn't isn't said to be coming yet, but we're not we're not planning on boxing till the early twenties, then it probably will be softs that we go to next. Notice how the front three have just pieced out in front. Lando, Charles and Fernando are gone. And then the rest of us are all in a Lance Stroll train. Just can't quite get close enough at the overtaking points because of lack of straight line speed comparatively to everyone else to really make the overtakes I want to make. So we're going to rely on strategy here. Thankfully, it's a multi-stop race. So there are multiple opportunities to undercut and make some time. Because they're faster than me in spots, and I'm faster than them in spots. So free air is probably going to earn us some time. Although not having DRS will make a bit of an impact in that. It really would be nice to know when the rain's coming, but... We're not going to have that luxury, unfortunately. It's just being close enough out of the final corner. Okay, the Hasses are starting to slow us up now. The Hasses at the front of this train have slowed up. It's one, of them, one of them might be on a medium tyre, maybe. No. It's Lance that's on mediums at the front of this train, which is keeping this train slow. And Checo and Carlos Sainz are losing touch with those in front of them. So this train that was all the way to P4 is now only as far as about P8 or 9, which is not ideal. So my undercut is losing its potential maximum gain. But fingers crossed we will have the opportunity to get still a decent undercut. I'm going to box 20. roll off the brakes and roll up the inside. Good job. It's taken a long time coming, but we've made another overtake. Yeah, one of the Hasses has 
in trouble, I think, with damage. Either or they've just got abnormal, abnormally high tyre wear, because we're really slow now in certain parts. This is where the undercut would have a massive amount of uh, benefit to whoever stops slightly early. We've still got to factor in. Now, ideally, we wouldn't want to make another stop after this first stop before the rain. So we need to make sure we go far enough so that the next set of softs take us to the rain. Use your overtake button more. It's time to utilize some I'll ask about the weather again in a minute, but I don't envisage that there's any rain coming just yet. No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. Again, I'll use a lot of battery. Right, the gap to the teammate ahead of us. Force Hulkenberg defensive. Seconds. Made the move. That's P15. Okay. I think we might have figured out how to make some moves now. After trying to make them at certain parts of the track earlier in the race, it's now other parts of the track that are going to be more beneficial to us at this part of the race. It's fine. 15. Getting there slowly. But most important thing is that we're getting there. And I run wide, make a mistake. And throw it all away again. Never mind, it's still got. Whoa! Stop talking, concentrate your fucking driving, you moron. Honestly, it's so tough on the higher difficulty levels to drive super competitively and be a good content maker slash streamer. Sometimes the content needs to just be the gameplay rather than me commentating on the gameplay. Because I'm costing myself time here. God, it's such okay, a slow pit lane. About that target for now. Let's just focus on this pit stop. Right, mediums. It's me and Carlos Sainz, intriguingly. Okay, and it's mate, a good stop. Go. Go, it's a good go. stop. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were expecting. Right, I'm on the mediums, so it's not going to be easy to stick with okay, science. Stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. In fact, science is probably already more than a second ahead of me. Is one and a half. Now, so we need to really try and make the most of an undercut. Okay, so Alonso's in from that front trio, and Alonso is out again at the back of that group in front. He's going to be losing loads of time now, hand over fist, because he's stuck in that train, which is going to work in our favour. So it's going to massively help us close on everybody that has gone a little bit longer. I'm expecting loads of people in the box on lap 23 and 24. This is where hopefully this undercut comes into mine and Carlos Sainz's benefit. Others around us are going to be very fast though when they come out of the box. If we can avoid traffic and just be in free air, then hopefully we'll be okay. Charles has still kept going. A McLaren and a Mercedes are in the box, as are a handful more now. So here comes our undercut opportunity. Very much taken. Very much taken. If you remember, the two Hasses were at the front of that train. Now one of the Hasses is eight seconds behind us. He will race up behind me on fresh softs, but that's how much the undercut has earned us there in terms of time. A lot. Charles is in this lap. Charles is in the pits. Alonso's still in that train up front. Mm. 
lots in the box now. This might well be us into the points. Not quite. P11. Yellow flag up front, though. Who's that for? Lance Stroll. Or Alonso. Might be Alonso. I hope it's Alonso. It's Alonso. Huge. He's gone bang. That's massive for our championship. He's one of those car, one of those drivers in front of us. We now have an extra position. We're into the points. You'll notice behind as well that Hulkenberg has taken Perez. I believe Sergio Perez is running with some front wing damage and hasn't changed it in the pits. Rain in 10 minutes now, they're just saying there as well. I'm going to check. I think Sergio Perez has some front wing damage that he hasn't boxed for. No, seemingly not. He's lost the position to Hulkenberg, though, and he's holding up the train. So something is amiss with Sergio Perez's car. Maybe floor damage? You can't visually see it, but something is causing Sergio Perez to be a lot slower. And it's not the usual real-life Sergio Perez little bit slower reason. So... I'm not sure, but rain is on the way. Everyone's boxed. We could have used softs. We've ended up using the mediums. Just means we'll have... We do still have another uh, fresh set of mediums to go to. So if we do need mediums at the end of the race, we can go to them. But if we want to use softs, we've got plenty of softs available as well for when the rain... Or post when the rain gets here. We're in a decent spot at the minute. An undercut's earned us six or seven positions. Uh, and the retirement to Alonso has helped as well. Want the rain to stay off as long as possible so that uh, we get the chance to maybe get Carlos Sainz as well as his softs go off and our mediums come into their own. We'll wait and see. Perez, I don't know what's wrong with Sergio Perez's car, but he's doing a wonderful job of holding everybody up behind. It's now 10 seconds okay, back there. The top 10. We're up to ninth now. Daniel Ricciardo's going to be coming up behind us soon. Piastri's on mediums. Did he start on those? No, he, there's no way he started on those mediums. Is it Piastri? That's, no, they've gone medium, medium. Oh, wow. So some have gone... Stroll and Piastri have gone medium, medium. Now, that is unexpected. Verstappen hasn't yet boxed off his first set of mediums. He's still going. I presume he'll box this next upcoming lap. Lots of different strategies at play here, and I've no idea how it's all going to factor the rain into it as well. I am still concerned about tyre temps once the rain gets here, but there's not really, not really much I can do about that now, is it? We've kept with Carlos Sainz very well on these medium tyres. Him on the softs, I did expect him to get away from me, but he's not once gone over two seconds down the road. It says to me, when they're on mediums at the end of the race, and we hopefully are on softs after the rain, we could be pretty competitive, I hope, anyway. Lando leading the race at the minute, ahead of Charles. And of course Alonso's now no longer with them, because he's retired. So it's a two-horse fight for the win now. Oh, we're going into turn one. Maybe even before turn one. Before turn one. That's P8. Nice move. Good job. Now we've just got to make sure we time the transition to the intermediate tyre correct. It's not far away, I don't think. I've got a horrible feeling we're going to hit that. AI are faster than you crossover period that won't leave us and we won't actually go to intermediate tyres. That's my fear at the moment. Where like the user loses all of his grip, his or her grip, but the AI don't lose as much of theirs. Nobody in up front yet. I have lost all my dry grip. It's still not a 
perfect situation, but I don't think we've got cause to move on to a different tyre yet. It's not far. I don't think we're far off Inters. Yeah, look, those guys in front are just pulling away hand over fist now, like crazy. We've reached that period where the AI are just un uncompetable. Uncompetable? I don't know what the, what the phrase is. Unmatchable, basically, in terms of their traction and their lap time. I'm not gonna box until it deactivates DRS. I'm, I don't wanna go too early and get super hot tires again. We've been there, done that, got the T-shirt and wanted to burn the T-shirt. DRS disabled, there you go. As if we were waiting for it. Right, we're no longer sure that these tyres are the right ones. It might be Inter's time. time. In. Everyone's double stacking as well. Nobody thinks it's worth doing another lap. That's a sign that it's definitely intermediate tyre time. Here we go. Good pit stop, please, gents. Was I held a little bit to be chaos in the pit lane. We're gonna still come out in front of science though, thankfully. And he got held up even more so in the pit lane, I think. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Right, Terpo says still out on a set of softs. That was the wrong call, Williams. You should have double stacked. Carlos did lose some time in the pits. You can see it's now 1.4 seconds. He was within DRS range of me previously. Some of those that didn't double stack boxing now. It's only the Mercedes in front of us. We might have gained a position here, maybe. No, we're P8 still. We have gained some time on no Lewis, though. At the moment. Just focus on the driving. But mainly just because he got stuck behind soft runners in wet weather so he'll now pull away again we have pulled on science though which is nice to see temps are still okay i think we're significantly quicker in the rain that just shows how much extra downforce we're running in these wet slippery conditions on the right tire at the right time we're much faster much faster Push, use your overtake button, let's go. I kind of wish it was raining for the rest of the race now. It's going to dry up again at some point. Tire temps are actually coming down because it's getting so wet. We might be on wet weather. We might be going to the full wets before the end of this rain storm. Full five seconds on Carlos Sainz. This is entirely unexpected. Are you coping okay with this weather? We're yes. We're watching the amount of standing water on the road, and for now, we think it's safe to stay with the Inter. I agree. I mean, if they all box again for full wets, I'm quite happy on these Inters at the minute. Quite happy on these Inters. So fast in a straight line, though. Tires are getting even colder. Great stuff, mate. You hit the target well there. Nice one. It's a long way to go in this race, though, so keep your head down. Hi, Lewis. Bye, Lewis. I just de rolled off the brakes there, eased off them a little bit. A little bit of wheel to wheel action, but it was from a long way back. Lewis should have expected it, though, the way that I've been all over his gearbox. Time to get out to Piastri. 10.2 to Verstappen. Oh, hello. It's starting to gap now. Are the conditions changing once more? I've gone from being super quick comparatively to everybody else to now 
they've got a traction advantage over me again. This is really strange. Inters and wets will probably have very similar pace at the moment. Okay. I'm still happy on the Inters. There's a Mercedes in the box. Lewis is pitting for wets, I think. He is. Others are doing the same. Oli Behrman has not. I'm happy at the minute. I'm happy on the insert. Charles is in, Charles is as in is Lando. Place. I'm not going to box. I'm happy on these inters. I really am. Okay, a few drivers are fitting full wet tyres. We might need to change soon. Nope, I'm okay, happy. Here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. That's P3. Two seconds. Now we gauge what the time does to Lando. This lap. And we see what what we do from there. I am, I believe, still happy on this set of intermediate tyres. Gap to Lando's coming down, I think. Is this the first time in Formula One game history where being in the wet is actually benefiting me? Yellow flag behind. Someone's binned it. There might be a safety car. It's a VSC. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. Virtual safety oh, I'll tell you what. Deployed. If we were closer to the pits, I'd have put a fresh set of inters on here. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Your delta's negative, which means you're going too fast. Reduce Someone your spun. A Sauber spun, I believe. Box for a new set of inters under the VSC. Okay, VSC ending. We're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Okay, off we go. Back into the race. Lost a couple Perfect of positions, job but. On the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. If they go, if they go in back to inters before we go to dries, then I'm still going to save a pit stop. I still think that's the right call to take a cheap intermediate pit stop. Now I definitely won't need to stop again. Now there's a Mercedes going slowly. Overtake and burn off some of this energy. Lewis Hamilton behind is going slowly and I think he's going to retire. Yep, yeah, Hamilton out. Okay, red flag. Red flag. Red no! Flag. Oh, that's killed me. Unbelievable, Jeff. I just boxed. Oh, the red flag. I did not need the red flag. A safety car. I'm so happy. Taking, please. We'll see you in the pit lane. The red flag kills me. How unlucky is that? Oh, you couldn't have predicted that Lewis was going to retire right. at all. Yeah, nice advantage here. Let's have a think about how we handle the rest I'm of I'm staying race. on Inters. I'm staying on Inters. And it's going to dry up as well. Race restart lap 57. I'm starting on inters. If the others are on wets, everyone's on inters. Killed me. We just threw away a potential victory there. I just, oh, mate. That was far too aggressive, mate. Clean Shut passes up. only. We don't want a penalty. Unbelievable. I was third. I made the right call to box under the VSC. Could not have predicted that Lewis was then going to have an engine failure and retire. Two laps later. The rain is easing up now as well. We'll wait and see if we still have the pace in wet conditions over the AI. But it will be softs that I go to, a brand new set of softs, when it dries up. It's still a fantastic recovery drive. 
There's still more positions that could be made, but we might have been in a position to win this race. Right, a gap to the teammate ahead of us. 2.6 seconds. At every moment, we made the right decision. To box early off the first set of softs for mediums. To box when we did to go to inters to begin with. To box under the VSC for another set of inters and not box for wets. And without the red flag, we might, we might have gotten a podium today. Charles gonna disappear down the road because George and Lando are fighting over P2 right now. Charles will win this race. We're still very much in the hunt for a podium though. Okay, I think the track's gonna be drying out quite soon. Be careful you don't burn out your tires. A little bit closer to Max this lap, although not by much. On the inside. Seeing the gap on the car behind by five tenths a lap. It's fifth. Come on, rain is stopping now. So my, my time as the quicker car is gonna to come to a rather swift end when that happens. As soon as we switch to dry tires, I'm gonna be the slowest of this quartet or quintet. If you still factor Lando as part of it, even though he's getting down the road now. I mean, it's dry, let's be honest, it's dry. of rain for the time being, conditions look good. We're not certain which is the best tyre right now, dries or winters. Unboxing. Understood, stopping this lap. I'll put the softs on. Come on then. Ocon just got a 10 second penalty or Ocon is carrying a 10 second penalty? Right, let's go, come on. Perfect Ocon's carrying a 10 second penalty. There, mate. I'm now running last. So we have to pray that we've made the right decision on the right lap. Charles is continuing on. Enabled. Don't tell me they're not going to box off their intermediate tyres. Charles is in for his stop now. The McLarens are double stacking as well. This might, might be us on the podium. Some are continuing on for another lap. Use as much of my battery as I dare down the down the. Oh my god! 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 That is a net P2. The car ahead's coming to fit the mediums. And Russell's on the mediums. We might have just maybe maybe put ourselves in a position to win the Grand Prix. Oh man! If I'd have come out in DRS range, or if he'd have come out in DRS range, what could have been? I'm gonna to have to get my elbows out for Max, I think, more so than thinking about attacking George. This is gonna be P2. So your ERS is running a bit low. Look into changing your ERS mode in the MFD for a more conservative burn rate. Or you might wanna try some lifting or gentle braking to recharge. Shut up, Mark, concentrating. No more talking. Let's go get George. Okay, we've got to focus on the VSC Delta. Okay. Get the old objective. Not sure what a VSC is for. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until we get the green flags. VSC ending. Wait for the greens. That was just weird. End of the VSC is so strange. The way it's like plus three tenths, plus five tenths, minus two tenths in the space of 100 meters. That's bullshit. Now Max is driving into me. I've lost out massively under the VSC because of that really, really strange delta. But obviously the AI are able to match perfectly because they're AI controlled. Whereas me as the user, I have to somehow deal with that up, down, up, down all over the place. I'll try and catch George Russell now, whilst keeping Max behind. 
Fastest lap of the race on oh, Inlanda does a 108. Okay. The pace is strong, but be aware these tyres need to go the distance. Yeah, Captain we're not. Teammate behind, <laughs> 3.4 seconds. Lando's the fastest car on track by a long way. We will finish second or third, because somehow Hulkenberg has managed to get himself up into fourth. But I'm, I can't catch George. Okay, keep the car ahead under pressure. They might make a mistake. Gap is only two seconds now. George is pulling. Uh, second or third, the VSC actually cost me because it fluctuates so stupidly. I wasn't able to maintain any sort of gap. I was like 1.3, 1.4 behind George, perhaps there or thereabouts, one and a half. I can't do anything against Lando here. I was like one and a half behind George. Okay, focus. We need to and stay on slowly closing. Now Lando's just going to disappear in front of me. Maybe he can drag me to George, but I don't think there's enough time left in the race. Oh, what, what a killer. I mean, I can't complain, can I? I've somehow managed to go from 20th to... Fuck you, Curb! You're not an auto-spin, Curb. It's bullshit. We somehow managed to go from 20th to 3rd. Sorry. Do correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I am sure in real life that curb is not an auto spin curb, so to speak. You don't just definitely spin just by looking at that curb. Don't know as I'm close enough. I'm definitely not close enough. I might be. Okay, you just started the final lap of the race. Final lap. It's desperate. And it's not quite going to work. I'm alongside. Using a lot of battery. He's going to have the inside line. This is a hell of a fight with Lando here on the final lap for P2. I don't know where I'm going. Too busy staring at the back of his car. Fuel's low. He's going to get traction on me out of this corner, though. Nah, I'm not going to be close enough. Lando's going to get P2. George is going to win the race. The line's gonna come up too fast for us. There it is. Oh. <laughs> P3. P3. George Russell, who wins? All three Brits on the podium. Lewis Hamilton DNF'd. It's one thing to Alex Albon races under a tie flag. So losing too much time. The three Brits on the podium. One, two, three. George Lando me. Ah. Oh. If it weren't for the VSC at the end. I might have won that race. Well, Mercedes are on top I think once again. We made every decision correct. To After box early off the like softs, that, who knows to go to the mediums, for us next time out. to box to winters sure on the right lap, again, to, to not box for the full wets. Then we made the right decision under the first VSC to box for another set of inters. But you could have anticipated the red flag. The red flag came, everyone was then on inters. FML. Then we made the right decision to go to softs, and if it weren't for that last VS and to when to pit for those softs as well, and if it weren't for that final VSC, I think we would have caught George Russell. Because I could have burned my battery and we were closing slowly. In the end, I couldn't hold Lando at bay, but a P19 to P3, George P7 to the win. Charles started on pole. In the end, finishes fifth. And Nico Hulkenberg, P15 to P4, is worthy of note, as well as Daniel Ricciardo, P11 to P6. Oli Berman into the points as well. 
we gain on all of our championship rivals other than Lando Norris, annoyingly. And uh, evidently, he's now apparently my championship rival, which sucks because he's the one that finished ahead of me. I'm so close to being 86 rated. We are still just, supposedly, although obviously not with the championship standings, the number one driver at Ferrari, at least with our reputation. Somehow. And I, that's the first time that our uh, wet weather running has actually been competitive, not only competitive, but quicker than. Really surprised at how fast we were in the wet, but delighted with it. That's a large portion as to why we were able to finish where we did. A new rival. This it's is Monza the next. opportunity to show the world why you belong in this sport. And to show me why you belong amongst my very exclusive clientele. That's a joke. I love working with you. Yeah, it would be nice if that wasn't the 17th time I'd heard that one line. Uh, so, Monza next. Monza, we hope, is dry. Because if it is... We're in with a shout again of a really, really good race weekend. Previously uh, at Monza, season one, we f oh, season one, we DNF'd, lol. Season two, we finished fifth in the Ferrari when Charles won, and season three, hopefully, we will finish on the podium for the first time in Ferrari's home Grand Prix. We closed within 10 points to Lando. We closed to within 30 of Verstappen and 31 of Fernando Alonso with some strong tracks, I think, I hope, for us coming up. We got a podium in Singapore last year. We got a P2 in Azerbaijan last year. We got wins in Vegas, Qatar, and a podium in the United Arab Emirates as well. There are sprint races still to come too in some of the other Grand Prix weekends. Monza, I think, is probably a balanced tire allocation needed as well. Dry, 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 channel your sunshine. It's stonking hot at Monza for the Italian Grand Prix next time out. Weather forecast is fully dry. Regulation changes apparently on the way. Uh, looks like you're probably going to have to have some regulation changes next year. We think this affects multiple departments. We aren't sure yet which ones. That's fine. I have 8,500 resource points banked up, ready to make this Ferrari super, super, super quick. But if we do a fourth season, I don't know if we stay at Ferrari. We might move, depending on what happens with the uh, resource allocation. And, I mean, Aston Martin or McLaren would be perfect teams to go to to compete with Ferrari next season. So I'd be sorely tempted to not improve the Ferrari or not protect the Ferrari and uh, go to season four at a different team and try and shoot Ferrari in the foot. It would be... Very, very unrealistic and very gaming the system to do so. So I probably wouldn't do that. But I almost certainly would look to move teams for season four if we stay in this save. And if we stay in this save, where we move... I mean, we would not have as strong a teammate, I don't think, at Aston Martin or at McLaren. Lando and Alonso are very, very, very quick, but Charles is faster. So, leaving Ferrari might be the way that we go about getting ourselves a Drivers' World Championship. We're going to get the Constructors. That's a shoe in Maybe we have one final hurrah at trying to get a Drivers' Championship. And if it doesn't work after five Grand Prix, then we sack it in and do a My Team. Who knows? For now, though, we are absolutely going to do our best to win... The team's home Grand Prix it was heartbreak for my own personal home Grand Prix at Silverstone. Monza will be different. It better be different. I'll see you in the next one.